Okay, good morning, everybody. Ooh, we have a chest cold open. Good morning, you beautiful spikelings. I'm your one and only friend, house and preview card getter, aspiring spike. Welcome to my Shark Typhoon, spikelings. I have a question for you. What's better than drawing extra cards? If you said nothing, you're close. The real answer is taking extra turns, <laughs> which will continue to do Demir Shredder infinite turns. How many can we take? How about all of them? Let's begin and get those wins. Oh, um, subfall, praise cloth, and so on. Okay, we're running it back today. Uh, I'm actually pretty happy with the 75. Uh, the one change I did make from yesterday is cutting the Steemits for the Fourth Shores. Still keeping the Gigantic Companion. You can cast it off the Springleaf Drum, you can cast it off a Treasure Token. But I actually think the main purpose this card uh, has in the deck is just putting it into your hand to either loot away with Shredder or discard to a cookbook. Um, which, is, which is worth playing, I think, even if you're not going to cast it that often. Uh, Fleece me with the 10 months. Appreciate you so much. Welcome back. Uh, yeah, yesterday's stream was a ton of fun. The deck, yesterday's stream was like kind of perfect. It's everything I always want to stream to be. Where I'm, I'm having, a, I'm having fun. The deck is uh, playing well. It's a new brew. It's it's feeling competitive. It's just, it was just everything was just all good vibes yesterday. So we're gonna run it back again today, at least for the like, first couple weeks. This is, you know, this is how brews usually go. Where I think I'm keeping this actually. Where a lot of times the deck will feel really close. So when we were working on this archetype in like the Grixis colors before, it always it always felt really, really like almost there. Maybe I should play Cookbook on one, actually. Yeah, I definitely should play Cookbook on ones because this way is, I'm really vulnerable to them discarding this, and it guarantees a turn to play. But I'll just draw a land to get lucky. Um. But yeah, a lot of times a brew will be like really close, right? And you'll just kind of have to shelf it for a while until a new card comes out. And I, I really feel like Shredder is a card that completes this deck a lot. And this, this version has felt better than all of the other versions I was working on before. M4, the two months, appreciate you. Schedule a list purge stream or go through old lists, discuss that behind brews, choose what not to delete it. It could be fun. Can also be not fun. <laughs> that there will be a long time. So doesn't the combo need four cards? Uh, yes and no. Like the real combo is actually like just cookbook plus time sieve, right? Where, like technically to go infinite, you do need four cards. But a lot of the times you're just like gonna over the course of the game make a lot of food tokens, then play a time sieve, take an extra turn, and then you you will like cobble together a couple of extra turns. Yeah, really punished for not playing this in turn one. But you you will you will cobble together a couple of extra turns, and then you'll use those um, uh, extra turn effects to to find your manufactor, and then eventually go infinite. Like yeah, and like the extra turns will help you get the rest of the combo together. In four two months, YouTube content instead. Yeah, yeah, that could be like a a good YouTube video. Edit it down. Feeling great about our spot in this game. Especially feeling good if they miss their second land drop. Should Murktide save ball for turn two when, if they don't have Shredder in their opening hand? I think if you don't have Shredder in your opening hand, you should usually um, you should usually not save um, your bobble. You should usually just cast it in unless you feel like you somehow. Just have a really good plan for your turn two. You will live. Academy Manufactor, you're going to live. <laughs> Maybe we the connive off the shredder was also really valuable. It may have been better to unearth the shredder over the manufactor. With my opponent stumbling, hit missing land drops. I, I think it's good to hit, hit this. They tap their red mana for Ragavan, and the game is over. It's over. <laughs> there was a time where this game was continuing, but at the time of making this comment, it is over. So I think it's best to go Shredder, Connive, I 
I love how, like, when you have Daredevil, like, you just don't have to think that often <laughs> about what to discard. Only one land, by the way. <laughs> Alright, no need to kill the Ragavan. Not yet, at least. Plenty more Asmos where this one came from, too. There's a land, a pretty good land at that. Everyone lands is playing 20, including the Urza Sagas and a Springleaf Drum. I even missequenced this game. <laughs> My opponent also missed a land drop. They found their third land, though. If they play another spell, I do get to connive. Does the 3-3 have Defender? Um... No, I guess I should have attacked. <laughs> Alright, I should have attacked. Simply saving time, though. Inflicting max uh, psychic damage. Okay, we're going to bring in the... Uh, the Bone Shards, minus two times sieve. And then I think I was either cutting the Spring Leaf Drum... Or the fourth Shredder. I think I just cut the Drum... Worst against like the removal heavy decks. How much consideration do you take into for graveyard hate in games two and three? Um, oh, sorry, that reminds me. <laughs> I want the needle for uh, unlicensed hers, I think. Um, yeah, you, usually like if the graveyard hate is something that you can needle, you're gonna bring in the the needles if against blue white control, which is kind of really the only rest in peace deck. You're going to bring in the Thought Seizes, and then, um, you know, I, like, Void Walker is something you can kill with Asmo, or Bone Shards, potentially. But what's kind of nice about Ledger Shredder, uh, as we found in both this deck and Blue Red Murktide, Shredder is just kind of a card that lets you beat Rest in Peace and other Graveyard Hate, just looting away your dead Graveyard cards, beat them down with Shredder, Asmo, Saga. That's kind of your, your main way to beat Graveyard Hate. People playing Hearse, yeah, I would say that Hearse is pretty stock in Murktide. At the, at the very least, I mean, they, they're either going to have Hearse or Relic, but I, I am definitely expecting them to have one of those two. Probably Hearse. <laughs> would E not be? Yeah, you could also you could also name E E with Needle. Yeah. Maybe I actually want to cut a Manufactor. Keep the fourth Shredder. Manufacturer is a bit more vulnerable. JJ, we, yeah, we did upgrade to a standing desk. I've been loving it. It's just, uh, it's feeling good, feeling energetic. Yeah, the camera, I guess, just got used to me bouncing around. How's typing at standing desk? Uh, I, I have done very little typing. I feel like a standing desk is really good for my situation where I get to entertain the chat and keep my energy up and move around um i have i i for my writing i have i haven't been writing at my standing desk i've been sitting but i, I think it'd be fine i haven't sent esther's standing desk up yet she's been working from downstairs but her brother is coming to stay with us for a week uh, cause Esther is graduating and so he's gonna come to her ceremony, so I'm gonna try to make him put the standing desk together. <laughs> I'll put back the watery grave so that I can get a swamp and play around Blood Moon a little bit. I think Yogg is pretty solved as archetype or is there room for innovation? Uh, in a deck with like so many creature tutors, there's always room for innovation. Um, back when I was first working on the deck, back right after MH1 released, I was actually playing a Sultai version that played Phantasm Image and Neoform and Flibble Flip, so you could like Neoform, Young Wolf into Flip, draw two cards. Um, and, uh, there's, like, you, you had a few other, like, tutor targets and stuff, but that was, like, the main thing that Blue Splash was for. Some people splash red for Recruiter. It's fine, I think, but... Yeah, I, I do think that there is room for innovation. I mean, I, I actually, I don't really feel like any deck in Modern ever gets completely solved with the amount of, like, new cards entering the format and old cards that exist I, I, and, like, how the metagame shifts. I don't think any deck ever gets fully solved. 
Decks uh, do get mostly solved, though. Um, yeep. Yeah, I guess I'll play Oda War on turn one, then I can go Saga Shredder turn two. Am I enjoying mowing my lawn now? I haven't mowed it yet. Um, I also don't I haven't bought a mower yet, so I think I'm gonna I'm probably gonna hire mowers for like the till till like we're settled in, then I'll buy a mower. Murktide felt pretty solid before Shredder came out. I mean, it wasn't. There's was like there's always Murktide has always had like three flex spots that um, people will debate endlessly on, and then the sideboard's always like. <laughs> Very much not solved. Yeah, it, I, I, like, but I agree. Burnt like mostly solved. Like, it, you know, there wasn't like a ton of wiggle room. I agree, but I think no deck ever gets one hundred percent solved in modern, at least. Standard probably. Standard is obviously the easiest format to solve, though. Okay, do not blood moon me. Do not do it. Fuck. <laughs> So, I guess I'm going to try to cycle on Earth and then cast Asthma next turn. Yeah, I should have said no Blood Moon, no Magus. That's uh, my bad. Okay, we've done a ton of deck techs for this deck. Um, so, I <laughs> can do this pretty fast. I, I do like the one can't stay away. I see a lot of people forget it. I, I forget to mention this, but I do like the one can't stay away. Four Consider, I think, is mandatory, though. I, I think you should cut the Sky Sovereign. I think the Sky Sovereign is uh, not worth including. Um, I, I, Supreme Verdict may not be a good main deck card. It might be fine. I'm not in love with it. Uh, I would play, I think, the fourth Tainted Indulgence. I think I'll do four Indulgence, three Mending. I think Indulgence is a little bit better in the deck. I like three Dick Through Time. Two Dovins Veto is fine. I, they also don't feel like mandatory main deck inclusions. Yeah, I think I'll see switch these numbers on the mending indulgence. Cut the we we'll probably move the verdict or cut the sky sovereign for fourth consider, and then I would probably say that the the veto and the verdicts are flex cards, but that you could play potentially opt in that spot, and then like have just bring these in post board. But you can also you can also have them. They're they're also like fine flex spots. Dude, my opponent has nothing but this Magus, <laughs> it seems. Alright, so we got an Asmo in play. Oh, it just has nothing. And then in the sideboard, sideboard looks pretty good. Although, I've been recommending people play the card Silence over Deafening Silence, where Silence is also good against Lotus Field, and then the card Silence is a card you can side in against Blue-White Control and other interactive decks. And then I'm not I'm not sure that I guess Lantern Soul Guy Lantern is probably for the mirror. You could play Noxious Grasp over Lantern and be maybe a little worse than the mirror and a little bit better against Winota. Oh, we also have Gigantha as an Opta Blood Moon. Fury pitching Alpine Moon. Kind of weird to see Magus and Alpine Moon in the same sideboard. I would love for my opponent to let me connive though. But maybe they'll just kill my Shredder. They do just kill the Shredder. And I think they're probably going to unholy heat my Asmo. Yeah. How did my opponent have this? I guess I guess the Fury and the Heat didn't line up that well against last turn. But they're also dashing Ragavan, I think. So uh, next turn we can go Cookbook, Discard, Asmo, Cookbook, Kill Magus. Do you just silence to time walk randomly or hold in response to ultimate and lotus field? Um, either one. You're gonna do you're gonna do one or the other. Um, in response to ultimatum is pretty good. Uh, or 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 in response to hidden strings is also a good time to do it. It's gonna be situational. You'll probably have to play you know several matches before you get a perfect feel for it. Uh, 
Um, so we're discarding either Emery or Bone Shards here. I kind of think the ch odds they have a Merc Tide in their hand is high enough. I should just discard the Emery. Kill the Magus right now so I can play my Saga. All right, I feel like I, I'm okay here, I guess. I'm playing this Ragavan, two mystery cards. Got a Shards if one of those is a Merc Tide. Got an Urza Saga. Okay, looks like I was potentially right about Murktide. Incoming of the Moon, maybe. I mean, they pitch Alpine Moon to Fury, but if they have three Moon effects in the top, you know, 17 good beats. Yeah, Daredevil will definitely be the best top deck. I think at this point I am 100% sure you want to play four Daredevils. Yeah, the Standing Desk is uh, new this week. This week, I, although I started standing on Wednesday, I think. Just too tired Monday, Tuesday. Yeah, I think the 5 0 list had uh, had just three Daredevil, but I, I, I think you have to play four. Yeah, I, I've been loving the standing desk. Yeah, yeah, Daredevil's way better with Shredder for sure. Like, you just like. I know that you always want to draw a Daredevil, but like. With Shredder, you're not unhappy to draw two, and like this version, you really, really want to find a Daredevil at some point. And, and you, you find it pretty often with four Emery and then four Daredevils. Wouldn't it even be better to take Indulgence too? Yeah, I don't, I don't think it would be better with Indulgence. Like spending, it, spending two mana to not impact the board, I think is not something this deck's that interested in. You already have Shredder as kind of like a better card advantage engine. Okay, so they're going to kill my cookbooks. It's probably the correct choice with all the sideboard cards and is Ragavan presumably Murktide presumably mystery card can you cast the back of Valkyia fires yeah but I think you need seven mana Wavos thank you for the six months appreciate you Yog Accord more like Pog Accord <laughs> what about Clutch the Undercity as fifth devil uh, I mean you could play that or a Squee I don't think that you need five but you, you could Do you recommend Shredded Grixis Shadow for FNM? I like the deck a lot. I do. It's kind of hard for me to like... <laughs> it's kind of hard for me to find a deck though that I, I don't recommend for FNM because FNM is always just about enjoying yourself, having having fun, and playing the decks that you think are cool and interesting more so than just trying to crush your, crush your stores, right? <laughs> uh, we did draw the Daredevil. It's kind of funny. I'm not sure, do I want a Swamp or do I want a Island here? I guess I'll just get the Swamp. I already have the, I have the Odawara. So I know my opponent's hand is Ragavan, Mystery Card. I think I don't want to trade Construct for Ragavan, so I'm going to leave the Asma back. Would Amar Grave be a better fifth? Could get Manufactor too. You could, yeah. I, I, Amar Grave as could be better, yeah. You know one thing though about like that compared to Squee What's up? is that um, is that this card uh, Amargrave does cost two mana when you can just discard Squee for zero or mill over Squee with Emery. Super Falcon, think of the hundred bits. Appreciate you. All right, casting the monkey. If we beat um, <laughs> if we beat Murktide, Magus of the Moon, Fury, Engineered Explosives, I'm gonna feel really good. Squee is worse than Master of Death. Well, Master of Death costs, costs you a life, right? Although I guess, you know, it, 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 it is probably true that a life is is probably less relevant than being able to actually cast. So, yeah, so you could play Master of Death. I think I just want to grab a Nile Spell Bomb. Turn off, like, top deck Merc Tides. Could maybe have attacked with the 3 3 Construct first. But now I'll just discard the Daredevil. I wouldn't uh, be wasting my bone shards here unless my opponent, um, it, with, with, if my opponent's graveyard wasn't empty, because I'm not afraid of Murktide at the moment. Isn't Cookbook just gravy? Uh, yeah, maybe I should have just got Cookbook, actually. 
I was thinking that I wanted to draw a card and, and push my board state, but yeah, with, with double construct Asmo. Sorry, obviously I should just got a cookbook. Yeah, maybe they do have a second monkey too. Kind of looks like they're just gonna play a three-three Merktide. I was also kind of thinking that one mystery card, like it would make a lot of sense for it to be second Merktide, which is part of the reason why I went for the spell bomb. But yeah, cookbook's obviously way better. Gonna answer this call. Should have got the cookbooks. We'll go to game three. It feels bad. That line was way better. Yeah, how much time do they have left on their clock, actually? They've been going pretty slow. They have a phone voice? I don't know. <laughs> I've never thought about how I answer the phone or what my phone voice sounds like. I don't really talk on the phone that often. Which has been a lot lately, I guess, because of all the house stuff. I'm uh, going to mulligan the triple saga hand. They're going to mulligan the no saga hand. Yeah, they still have 10 minutes on the clock. They have plenty of time. Um, okay, let's keep this and then put back, I think, Watery Grave and... Well... So I probably want to go... This would be so much better as a six or a seven, obviously. Uh, I want to keep the Emery so that I can try to mill over a Daredevil. That feels pretty important. I want to keep the Benamo with the Emery. That may be just wishful thinking. Maybe the dual land's more important. And then it's just kind of a question of... I think I, I, think I put back the Shredder. It's, it's, it's certainly close. Certainly close. Turn one Islet. Daredevil off the top would be really nice. Second Emery is really interesting. Um, so with my opponent having Fiery Islet up, it is really likely that they've got removal. If they're going to keep Fiery Islet go. So why don't I just play this like a bit slower? Try to overwhelm the removal a little bit. Is this a dispute? It is a dispute. It's kind of bad. So I really wanted to at least get like the mill four to try to find a daredevil. Cause I was thinking it was like, but if like they bolt the Emery or heat the Emery, we're more likely to be able to find the daredevil. Gotta assume my opponent just top deck that Spire Bluff can now do, which is kind of frustrating. Always tough to win on a mold of five on a play against Merktide. Yeah, I, I think on the mold of five, I'm still just trying to play this a bit slower. Get to cast all my cards. Try to try to mill over a Daredevil. If we don't, if we miss on the Daredevil here, we're not doing. We did. We found one. Awesome. Awesome. It's so that's so important here. I can't. I can't undersell how important that is. Whew. Breathe in a little bit easier. We can even cast the Asmo through a Magus of the Moon this turn. <laughs> Canister with the expert analysis. Putting Shredder back on the mulligan. Card not that good. <laughs> That's the title of a YouTube video, actually. Alright, plays Island. Hey Shane, good to see ya. Maybe I might put a little timeout, actually. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. It's going to be tough, but I feel like at this pace of play, we could potentially have a long game that ends with them timing out. What's great is that we should guarantee resolving Asmo this turn. 
I guess we have to go down one. Don't want to watch the Flesh and Blood. Yeah, yeah, how's the Flesh and Blood PT going? I know I have a lot of friends who really like that game. I haven't learned how to play still. And what's nice about having, like, multiple cookbooks in a slower game like this is that I know we started out two time sieves, but um, now we're in a spot where time sieve is actually going to end up being a good top deck, I think. Fun coverage, that's good. I mean, I, I think that, like, if... I, I'm really hoping that the Flesh and Blood Pro Tour ends up being, like, really popular and high production value, so it kind of puts a bit of a fire under Wizards to make sure that they step up their production. All right, Dead Asmo. Thankfully, we have a third one. I think if, I, if they have a counter, I want them to counter the Emery, so I'm going to lead on this. It's a lot harder to follow the MTG since it's all from the hand. That's interesting. Yeah, I, I don't really know almost anything about the game. I think I'm still casting this. Alright, so hopefully they've used two removal spells already. There's a third one. I mean, this is just, you know, it's just what a mulligan to five is like. So three cards in their hand. They're drawing up to four. We've already used three Asmos, so it's it's looking pretty bad for me. Um, I think my best draw is my second copy of Time Sieve. I did mill over one of the two. I have four of the main deck. I set it down to two post board. It's just, I, I, we obviously punted away last game too, but mulling to five on the play against Murktide is pretty deadly. There's a channeler. It, maybe it was good to try to hold the to hold the asthma too. Like I maybe I didn't need to play it there, but it, it is also like the case. I think when you're on the mold of five, that you kind of have to push your advantage a little bit. You can use quick to get back asthma. I mean, that costs four mana, <laughs> but maybe at some point, yeah. They exile a channeler. They do have a red mana. So if we draw our fourth Asmo, or a Time Sieve, yeah, we have, we have like two good outs here. Two outs like this turn that could potentially uh, bail us out. I'd say the fourth Asmo is probably better than the Time Sieve, but we'll take the Time Sieve for sure. Well, this does make the to Top Tech Sieve better. Assuming it resolves at this point, which it very well might not. We'll take we'll take one or two more draws. If my opponent like you know draws a, like 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 here, <laughs> we're super dead to a counter spell. It's it's always so painful to be in the spot where your opponent's playing really slowly and <laughs> uh, you're just like waiting to look at the top card of your library, <laughs> and, uh, knowing you're dead. They keep a card on top with consider. I will. It's sieve. Matt, meow, chat, chat yelled at me all week saying it's pronounced sieve, not sieve. I was pronouncing it sieve. I think both pronunciations are val valid. I was pronouncing it si uh, <laughs> sieve all week. Chat kept yelling at me saying, Spike, it's sieve, not sieve, you dumb American. And now I'm here. And now I'm being told it's the opposite. There's just no winning. In fact, no more telling me how to pronounce anything. I'm just off of it. No lands. The foods they make actually, I don't know. It's like the, the, they got, they put a card on top too with the um. They put a card on top with the the channelers. At the very least, I kind of feel good that we're just not playing that game anymore. <laughs> and we we did punt game two. I think game two is like if I just get the stupid cookbook, we're in much better shape. Um, yeah, we can keep the Emery. Okay, so we'll discard the Time Sieve. <laughs> discard the Time Sieve. Cast Asmo, cast Emery. I 
Didn't get lucky enough to mill over a Daredevil. My opponent Thought Scours. Thought Scours himself milling Castle Vantress and Mistress Bobble. And they're now they play Land, Thought Scour, Drown. So I guess I'm going to Shredder Cookbook. Counter on the Shredder. Attack for three. No idea what's going on. Castle Vantress, Watergrave, Island, Mistress Bobble, Thought Scour, Drown, Flood Strand, Esper Triumph tapped into a Murktide. So, like, oh, Gurmag Angler. Okay, well. I think I'll wait on the Unearth. I'm just going to go Gigantha in the hand, discard Gigantha, kill the Gurmag Angler. Hmm. Well, I guess they're at least we know their deck's good. <laughs> Time Steve. Hmm. So I could just discard both, try to kill them. Let me just attack with just the Asmo here. I think playing around. Only counter spells is probably not correct in a game where I feel pretty ahead. Yeah. This is the third drown. Oh, do you know what it is? It's counter spell, and they don't have the counter spell mana. <laughs> that is exactly what that is. <laughs> they tapped wrong. Oh, and Blurry Boy again. It's a Fairy, the Time Raveler, and a Gurmag Angler deck is something else. Their deck also does not seem very good at triggering Connive. I guess they do have Bobble. I'm just kind of confused, I guess. Um, so we'll select the Clue. Hoping the Emery resolves and hoping I get to find a Daredevil. But I guess I guess they're pretty likely to have this counter spell, huh? So I can cast the Bobble to try to connive and attack. Although they can connive and they're probably gonna get a good block off. Assuming they have a spell to discard. I think I'll still do it. It's kinda close. It's just really good if they if they just have land land. They don't have land land. They do have to discard ending. I have to discard a land. They have another ending on top. It's a good card to know about. Obviously starting to pull, fall a little hot behind. There's the daredevil though. There's the daredevil. So we'll wait for them to ending target the manufactor. Then we get to discard twice. Attacking first, forced a chump block. It, it didn't. My opponent had a 1-3, had a 2-3, and a 1-3. Missed one damage. Well, after I cast a spell, this is a 2-4, which... I, oh, I guess... I, yeah, so I guess we still get to... We still should have attacked, sorry. I, for whatever reason, I thought this was blocking this. That one, that one I'm wrong on. Get a lot of game objects. Manufacture dead. Why are they playing Gurmag Angler? <laughs> and Teferi. I'm so, like, lost. We get to connive this, this away. They have an 8 8 Murktide Regent, though. All right, let's draw a card off the clue. We have three treasures as well. Pretty good card, huh? So hopefully they don't have another counter spell. Consider is in response. All 
All right, just have to pass back here, unfortunately. Is that redemption off because the hats are still packed? Yes, yes it is. Three cards of my opponent's hand. Prismatic ending again. Another spell lets me connive, which is pretty valuable here, though. We have four times, or oh, I guess only three times sieves left. Might need to gain three life to survive, though. Maybe they found a counter spell at this point. We're getting also a bit flooded. So I can commit to using my treasures here and sacking the gain life. I think it's probably just better to pump the brakes a little bit, sack of food, make a big saga token. One shredder. Could try to get Asma back with cookbook. Yeah, could. I think I like my line a bit more this turn at least. We can, we, get, we still have the access to that next turn too. I could have also maybe played my swamp and not used one of my treasures here. To fairies about the ult, I'm aware. <laughs> I'm aware. Two cards in their hand. Almost forgot my food. Okay. I think I'm grabbing eighth. Spell bomb. It's either that or Shadow Spear. I mean, both are fine. So I, I think the plan is probably go cast cast Manufactor, make two more treasures, three treasures. Oh, I have to, I have to, actually, I guess I, I guess I'm just not doing that. I'm going to go sack a cookbook, get back Asmo, cast Asmo, and I can also activate Spell Bomb. I can't cast Asmo and equip Shadow Spear on one mana short. So this gives me two ways to. Pressure them here. Like it like spell bomb is lethal because they have two blockers. Okay. Yeah, this this is definitely the line. Yeah, they, they definitely have something if they're attacking here. Or they just forgot the food. Can gain life. Okay, I'm gonna go for the kill. They've got one card in their hand. If it's a removal spell, we're dead. Let's go. <laughs> what a game. What a game. So I guess against the Teferi Time Raveler, Gurmag Angler, Murktide Regent deck, I'm going to play the Bone Shards. The Prismatic Endings are kind of obnoxious. I don't want to cut the Shadow Spear in this matchup too. I don't know. Yeah, I probably should keep it. They they are a creature beat down deck. Still a weird one though. Pithy Needle for Teferi. I mean, I bet they only have one Teferi in their deck. We also have Bone Shards for it. I'm not even like really that scared of Teferi. I could be wrong. Maybe they have more, but I again, I'm just not that worried about it. Um, I guess I'll keep this. It's kind of a weird hand, but. They're playing a lot of one for ones. You don't want to mulligan too aggressively. You've got selection with you know double bobble, double fetch land. <laughs> okay, we're not selecting anymore, but we are going to go for the turn one Emery. Not a bad top deck, all things considered, huh? Over two cookbooks, Aether Spellbomb, Watery Grave. Feels like you don't even play bobble with how little you draw it when you need to cantrip. So I'm kind of confused <laughs> as to what you're saying exactly. Okay, definitely going to be getting a cookbook back here. Yeah, all right. these are like kind of perfect draws too. I'm 
The, I would say that the top of our library has cooperated this game. <laughs> I would say that that is a, a good assessment. That was turn two. <laughs> prismatic ending for three mana on my Emery. Dude, okay, Emery's actually kind of sick against Prismatic ending, huh? That's something I'd really thought about before. Any uh, game object enjoyers in the chat? You can always yield to the daredevil, but you can't always yes to it. Because it's a new daredevil every time. Prismatic Ending uh, is a bad card, actually. It's only good against your pet deck. The draw against Ginger with a... Bless you! With a mediocre hand. I'm going to try it. Yeah, I know Renin 6 is getting a reprint. Okay, hand just got a lot less mediocre. I wonder if it's ever correct to play Urza Saga here, actually. Hmm. So I think I'm killing, um, well, I, I'm not sure if I should kill Wall of Roots or Ignoble Hierk. I guess I should probably kill the Hierk because that's their only black mana currently. Although killing Wall of Roots makes my opponent unable to Eldritch Evolution into Yogmoth. I think I'm discarding Shredder. I think stopping them from potentially casting Grist is maybe better than uh, stopping Eldritch Evolution into Yogmoth. I'm not even sure that I'm that scared of Evolution into Yogmoth here. We're also, um, like, if we top deck a land, if we top deck like a land, we can go land, manufactor, discard an Emery, discard Time Seed, but then I can't cast the Time Seed to combo off, so. Kind of need to find a, um, kind of need to find a Daredevil off the draw step or my Emery. Yes, we are standing desk, gamer, standing desk gamers now. <laughs> yeah, I haven't pronounced this card correctly that often, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this is maybe one of the most mispronounced cards. They just made up a word when it's... <laughs> I feel like pretty clearly it should be Manufacturer. Alright, all no black mana. Maybe gonna like Court of Calling for a one drop. Yeah, if I had one more card in hand I could go Manufacturer, Discard, Discard. Uh, Esther, Esther came in, she was handling something on the phone, and she, like, for whatever reason, she looked really short, <laughs> or, like, shorter than usual, and I, was, I commented on it, and she's like, it's because of the, the standing desk. It makes me look shorter. Which is true, I think that's what was happening. Okay, we failed to hit a, um, oval chase. So... If Ginger cords for, oh, this is interesting. Uh, okay, so we'll just let this happen. It's fine. I think they just want to put Manufacturer on as a card. Um, why would that? Why would that be? Okay, so using Wall of Roots definitely means Court of Calling. So Court of Calling for four on my turn for Yogmoth looks like. So I could, um, I could actually, I could, I could just kill the something now, the Wall of Roots, probably. So right now they can Court of Calling for three. Yeah, I, I, I have to kill the Wall of Roots, right? 
the Yog I think the Yogmoth is a bit too scary here. And I get I can I can untap and cast one of these off the Emery too. So I, I think this probably prompts Ginger to cord for three instead, and um probably gonna grab a grist. Would be my guess. If he grabs Gris, do you get to kill it? Um, no, not necessarily. I guess it could. Uh, yes, it could. I could. I do, actually. I do. Because they have to tap their creatures. So they're going to court for two instead. So maybe just getting another wall of roots. Getting Scavenging Ooze. Wow. I was really not expecting main deck Scavenging Ooze. Okay, so let's take our draw. Another Emery. Another Emery is pretty interesting. Uh, this is game one. I don't have Needle game one. It's in the board. I think I have to make a token. I think I have to make a token. And just get Shadow Spear for the token. Certainly not uh, very fancy. Uh, I will offer the trade of Asmo for Scavenging Ooze, I think. Been a good game so far, very interesting. So Scavenging Ooze gives my opponent one black mana, still needs another one to cast a Yawgmoth if there's one hiding over there somewhere. Can make this a 4-4. Four, four. I'm pretty sure I'm just supposed to equip and then... I do think there's a pretty good argument for just making two foods here. And pos possibly killing something, possibly not. But pressure, pressuring Yagma's life total is always really relevant. And I, I also... I also can kill the ooze right now, and I can also choose not to. Intoxicated, thank you for the, uh, the, 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 blah, blah, the Swiss Prime, thank you. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, I think I will kill the ooze now. I feel like I feel like this has been a really hard game to navigate. I haven't been playing very well today, but I I do I am pretty proud of how I've navigated this. I think best draw is definitely um, oval chase daredevil. We still actually have all four in the deck. Was target the sieve there not worth keeping them for buffing ooze? Yeah, we could maybe upkeep target sieve or sieve a couple turns ago. Okay, cast Grist. Imagine killing one of my creatures with the by sacking Young Wolf. I think that seems way more relevant than plussing on a board where I have a Shadow Spear. I agree it's probably a tough call which card to kill. It's probably the Construct. Yeah, it is the Construct. Okay, so I can discard this to Bobble to make a food if I want. I guess I could just get make two foods next turn. Let's see what they're drawing. Overgrown Tomb. There's actually a really good chance my opponent's last card is Yogmoth, by the way. So I, but I can't keep them off double black because they have a top top decked Overgrown Tomb. So I'm gonna equip here, and then do nothing. Okay, last card was in Stranger Guys, not Yogmoth like we feared. So do uh, I think I think I do uh, make two foods here so that I can attack the Grist profitably. Wow, that really makes the Grist attack profitable. Well, 
What a game. What a game. Maybe I should have bubbled them first. How about Phoenix and Modern at the moment? It's probably fine. There's like not as much big mana as there has been. So I can go... Kill this. Bounce the Young Wolf. Tramp over for one. I think that's fine. Losing Asmo is definitely not great, but we do get to trade a lot. Or maybe it's better to, is it better to bounce the Stringer guys, just leave them with one undying creature, leave the Grist at two loyalty? It's kind of awkward to let them kill my Emery though. Yeah, I think I think I think I want to get another Emery activation. Okay, another young wolf on top, and his two young wolves. Daredevil, please, anytime. So imagine Emery dies next turn, assuming no Yogmoth on top, I guess. <laughs> Oops, all Mishra's baubles. So I guess I should probably get an Aether Spell Bomb so that I can bounce my own Emery. Probably should have bobbled myself first. Yeah, I'm not sure if that unearth changes anything. It is not a bad draw, though. Okay. So their top card is Essence Warden. Probably just pluses the Grist now. And then I might just cash this in for a card if they plus the Grist. Plenty of life. Then a 22. Okay, so we're going to bounce the Emery, I think. Yeah, I, I really want to replay the Emery. I know that we could just unearth it. But I think I want to go replay, unearth, try to replay Emery, connive. Finally. Okay. Oh, I guess I, I guess I probably want to unearth Asmo actually, right? It's close because like the flying creature is so relevant. I have another shredder in my hands. All right, if, if I see a um, if I see a time sieve off the Emery, I'm definitely gonna do that. Although I guess I guess I'm kind of locked into Asmo anyways because I cast a spell first here. I didn't find the time sieve. I did find a manufactor though. Um, I think I should probably probably not kill something because if I draw time sieve, I probably just want to take another turn immediately. Okay, yeah, just gonna have to fade for this turn. Let's go. All right. <laughs> I feel like the turn maybe that concession maybe have been one turn too soon. Or maybe not though. That was like the best game I've played all week. Wasn't it better to get manufactured with Unearth? Um. Oh, it was. Yeah. <laughs> it was. Yeah, Ginger, Ginger's a great player for sure. Man, I thought I played the game so well, but yeah, that was definitely a mistake. Okay, so yeah, I think I just wanted. To, I've been sighting in the needle. And the bone shards cutting the unearths. There's a dono. Oh, there's two donos. <laughs> Sorry, that was a really tough match I was focused on. So we have one for Durpin and one for Super Falcon. Did Super Falcon post? I didn't see. I don't see the post from Super Falcon. Domain burn. Okay. This is an archetype we've messed around with in the past. Kind of interesting to see like so many two ofs. Um, Um, I guess we'll keep this, and then I'm going to put back the shards so that I can Emery on turn two. This definitely is like a kind of all-in combo hand. Need to find a cookbook soon. Yeah, I, I feel like this style of playing like a lot of two ofs is, is you know, pr very much like not my style. I usually like to try to find the best card and slot and play 
more copies. Like, in theory, Shoreless Agent or Seasoned Pyromancer are going to be better than the other. Like, they do very similar things. In theory, one of them is going to be better, right? Uh, I do like the OBS here, actually, a lot. I think they make a lot of sense here. Um... But here I might like to see you do something like cut the main deck Clothis. I think a card plays not as well as you would hope it to. Probably play four Shardless Agents to better synergize with General Rockerick. And I, I also recommend playing, I think, at least the third Rockerick. I like that card a lot. I'm kind of I have a big soft spot for it. I think the I think the main deck Boros Charm is pretty cuttable. I would also I'd also I usually like to play a lot of Helixes in this in this archetype. Um yeah, I usually like to play a lot of lightning helixes in this archetype. There's um Like your your mana base is really painful, so it it, it is it, I usually find that uh that Helix ends up being a card you like a lot. Um so, like, cut the commands for Helixes, cut the Boros Charm, minus two Season Pyromancer, plus two Shareless Agents, minus one Clothis, plus one Rockerick. You can also maybe cut the Obnath and, like, have Ob be the top of your curve, play, like, third Ragavan, maybe fourth Ragavan. The more I play with HGA, the more I kind of feel like it's a bit of a win more card. Not a, ter not a bad card, though. All right, come on, Cookbook. Okay, um, I think I just Emery here looking for a Cookbook. Bricked really hard. Um, draw a card. Might have to settle this in game three. Hopefully Ginger is a bit uh, flooded. Yeah, I feel like this card is like usually kind of win more. I mean, it's fine. Like you can play it against Hammer, but I'm just liking it less. I'd probably play the second Terminator or fourth Veil. You, you can't play the HG. I'm not telling you to cut them. I'm just telling you I haven't liked them as much lately. And uh, I think those are all my notes. I think we're going to game three, baby. Game three. And the deck deck for Super Falcon. There's a new Renin 6 art. I haven't seen it. If someone wants to link it, I'll take a look. Budget Modern Coffers. Cool, cool, cool. Um, I would probably recommend playing Urborg Tomb of Yogmoth rather than uh, the Urborg from Legends. Just, just teasing that. <laughs> Classic uh, Pithy Needle situation. <laughs> um, so I will say that doing deck techs for budget decks is always really tricky, right? Because I don't know what your budget is and um... It's, a, it's it's kind of hard to, you know, recommend certain cards, but I, I can try. I, I will say that Toxrill, the Corrosive, Shieldred, Worm Coil Engine, uh, I, Walking Ballista, I would play, I think, none of these cards in the main deck. Ballista is also, like, like this is kind of, like, this is, it's kind of, like, like, these are cards I have, right? Like, I, Shieldred is, like, $12 card, it's not very good. Toxrill is a $12 card, it's not very good. Ballista is a $16 card, it's not very good. Worm Coil is a $20 card. And like, all of these cards are worse than Archon of Cruelty in your deck, and, like, Archon of Cruelty is, you know, only a one of here. You keep this. You know what I mean? So it's it's kind of tough, where, like, my recommendation is, like, trade those cards for Archon of Cruelty. <laughs> um, I guess. I could hold a bobble for Imri or Bird, but I think I'll just cycle it. You can also get back the Daredevil next turn. Yeah, so it's it's tough because of because of that. Um, yeah, I, yeah. Gol Golos is also a card that I think is really important. Like, you know, like trading these for Goloses would probably be better. Just like just like the other deck, you know what I mean? But it's just it's just hard to do. Deck text like this for you know this reason. So I know my opponent has Yogg. But I think I have to take the turn to manufacture so I get the Daredevil back to my hand. Really need a, a cookbook. I 
I think March of Reds and Sora, I played the second copy of that in the main deck over the Murderous Cut. Kind of a small thing. Asmo's a great draw here, so we'll go. Discard a card, discard Daredevil. Don't Veil of Summer! Do not Veil of Summer! Okay, this is fine, I guess. <laughs> um, so I guess I'll just get my Swamp. <laughs> Do not Veil of Summer me. Um, then we get to go cast Asmo, cast Cookbook, cast Emery. Oh, discard first, then cast Emery. It would say pretty good turn. Storm count four. So a lot of loose thoughts. Um, I do recommend like the reanimator list too, and the, like the 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 car and Gullus version. Um, I I recommend not playing Shielder, Toxtrail, Worm Coil, Ballista. I do like I I do think uh, Sign of Blood is is fine and good. <laughs> Well, the only reason we didn't get Veil of Summer because I was very clear to not Veil of Summer me. Oh, do we have another cookbook and a time sieve in the graveyard? So my opponent's time is uh, limited. What's the different turn combo exactly? Um, so it's really cookbook making a lot of food tokens plus time sieve. And then you go infinite. If Usually if you have Academy Manufactor, it's going to give you enough tokens to go infinite. Um, it's like two cookbooks manufacturer time sieve is easily infinite. There's a few different combinations of ways to get it. You also, a lot of times though, just like make a lot of food tokens and then, um, worry about going infinite later. What is this? Cord for two. Don't, do not collect your oof me. Do not collect your oof. Okay. Ooze is fine. Get rid of cookbook. Why would you, yeah, why, would, why would you target now? You would wait for the Emery to target, right? Target's time sieve. Yeah, that's that's wrong. You're supposed to supposed to wait for me to target with Emery. Easy mistake to make in what has been like a really difficult game for sure. But that feels like a game losing mistake. Oh, they want to they want to exile my they want to exile my Daredevil. Oh, sorry, I can't believe I missed that. I and I I also like could have so easily played around this too. It's kind of embarrassing. I could have so easily played around it because I have the other cookbook in my hand. Dang it. All right. <laughs> hey, Tashi, how's it going? Yeah, I, I don't. I just for whatever reason I thought they were tapped out. Well, only has one counter on it. We win anyways. Man, so so difficult to play this deck perfectly, dude. Just, especially against a deck like Yogmoth. <laughs> that was a great match, though. A great match. Everyone begging you to IRS stream the last GP. You're gonna be thinking about doing it next event. Now here I am. Are you actually wait, are you IRL streaming what what event are you IRL streaming, Hitashi? We have three looks at a colored source on the draw. I think I'm gonna keep. Combo breaker twenty twenty two. Awesome, awesome. When is that? Is that is that this weekend? I'll try to tune in. International Championship event? Hell yeah. Good luck to you. Two weeks. Two weeks. Okay, I'll try to tune in. Remind me too, though. Um, okay, so my turn next turn is like pretty spoken for. I guess if they thought sees me, then it's not. I was just thinking about holding the bobble. How could we beat the Osaka Daredevil if we could play the second cookbook before activating the second one? We could have Emery targeting our, our cookbook in the yard, cast it, and then discard the Daredevil. Uh, Ginger goes to eat the Daredevil, and then we can... Um, ooh, Calibrated Blast. Oh, need to bubble. Ginger goes to eat the Daredevil, um, and I just uh, discard the other card in my hand to return the Daredevil. Odawara, interesting. More interesting cards here. So I believe that um, a land next turn is going to be a win. 
Turn, turn three infinite turns. And it would be really nice to draw it since <laughs> we're up against the uh, combo deck. Although, you know, what's nice is like if they blast me next turn, we're live, obviously. Chocolate Attack with Twitch Prime, appreciate you. Yeah, uh, we have no tap lands in the deck. Any any up tap lands should be a win. <coughs> okay. Oh, Unearth was also Unearth was also a top deck that we could have had here. Um, okay, so I'm not sure what the line is. If I take 15, there's not really any like two damage things I'm dying to. My opponent's playing Calibrated Blast combo. But I think all that really matters is finding a land for next turn. So I think I'm going to Nihil Spell Bomb and sacrifice it now because I'm going to find Water Grave. I'm really good at this one. Just play it tapped. Maybe hold for Blast in the Yard. Maybe, but I, th I think the fact that we just like... we're gonna I think we just are going to win this game if we draw a land for next turn and we're going to lose if we don't. Makes me just want to crack it now so that Watery Grave is a land we can draw and win with. Oh, next year, oh, next year we have... Uh, I forgot, next year we just have the... Uh, the Springleaf Drum, so never mind. We were supposed to just like gain three life with the food, actually. Yeah, I forgot about the drum. They do hit me for 15. Uh, that being said, we're dead, we're dead to two Calibrated Blasts no matter what. I don't think they have any way to just deal me two outside of Calibrated Blast this turn. And they do, they do just have two blasts, so. The only way to beat this was to uh, draw a land there. How do they calibrate their blast again? They just <laughs> they just only play uh, big hits for it and other calibrated blasts, and they play two of the four mana Cascade Retrace. So I do like the idea of Fulminator Mage on the play. I think we're cutting the Shredders, the Aether Spell Bomb, we have a Nile Spell Bomb, we have a Shadow Spear. Uh, want the Unearths with the Fulminators. Probably going cut fourth time sieve, cut the drum. Or oh, what if I actually cut Asmo in this matchup? Is that I, I maybe like trimming Asmo is fine since I mean two doing extra copies of Cookbook is good, but like killing creatures. Oh, they do actually have creatures for me to kill. Never mind. I forgot they play Shadow and. The Drake. Maybe Shadow Spear is kind of slow. I guess with all this interaction, we go down the time sieves. I think I'm bringing the standing desk down. I've been standing for three hours. It's raining in. Oh, it's going back up. Come up. I really needs to draw Black Swords. We're gonna try it. Yeah, four one is still alive. Okay, gonna cycle on Earth now. Uh, my dust doesn't have presets. I think Esther's does. I'm kind of, I'm kind of, I, I bought uh, monitor mounts. Right now they're just on the desk. I'm kind of worried to have presets until I get the mounts on, just in case. You think goes weird. Awkward draws. Non-functional draw, unfortunately. Feels bad. I'm on two monitors. I've been kind of wanting to get a third. Um, but I, I'm pretty comfy with two. Alright, I think we might get blasted. Think that the Moxie Tabs for Legendary Creature should be good here. You have Legendaries. I only have two Legendaries, but you, you, you could play it. You could play it. It would not be uh, unreasonable at all. Well, I think these Fulminators are going to be a little slow. Although my opponent might be on Throws of Chaos instead of Calibrated Blast. And if that's the case, we get to slow them down a bunch. Good. Um, no, the, the, this desk isn't... I, I got the, the rectangle one. Esther got the L-shaped one. But my, my desk is in the middle of the room, so I wanted the uh, just the rectangle. 
Okay, they hit me for 15 with Shadow of Mortality. Still alive though. Barely a scratch. Hopefully my opponent doesn't go tank, 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 blast you. Seems like they're not. Maybe I should have waited for the fetch. Could hit a triome. They get a Esper Triome, so no red mana, kind of surprising. Probably, I guess that just means they have more red in their hand. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. Maybe they misclicked. Miss input. Um, do you want an Emery? Do we want a Manufactor? Pretty sure it's Emery here. Very likely just be dead to Throws of Chaos next turn, I think. Miss on any artifacts here. This has been this has been like by far the worst draw we've had with this deck since playing it. Ugh. Yeah, holding red band to play red more fulminators, I guess makes sense. Kendrick dropped the new albums. Very exciting. <laughs> and it's really exciting. No red man at all. They crime punishment kill my saga. Guess we have to be okay with that. All right, we drew Bobble. Uh, let's see what they're drawing. Red Channel Land, so they get red mana. Uh, if I see Flusterstorm on top, am I holding that up? On Earth on top. All right, well, I'll just cast this and hope they don't have a... This is double red to flashback, so we just have to hope that they're flooded, which their deck is like mostly lands. It, it is actually... Somewhat common for them to get flooded. I think it is, however, unfortunately, more likely that we're just dead. And it feels extra bad because we're about to start, you know, going off. Just blast me. Yeah, okay. Tough stuff, fall to two and two. Let's finish up this league. Okay, we'll keep this hand. Uh... Depending on what I see on top, I might actually lead on Saga. Rancid with the 21 months? Did I get 5-0 with the Sammy list? I, what, what's the Sammy list? Is this the Sammy list? I don't know why it is. Moose to the 60 months, appreciate you. Have I made Shred of Shred Shadow? I'm pretty happy with like where the 75 is at the moment. What's the stream coming to move Shredder and everything? I mean, Shredder's a super exciting card that fits in a lot of different decks. The stream is just always, you know, explore the cards that are underexplored. No, we, we've, we've forewarned a few times. We haven't 5-0'd uh, with this list yet. Watery Grave on top. I think I'm just going to shuffle that. Play Cookbook on turn one off the Watery Grave off the fetch. Pass back. All right, cookbook down. Yeah, moves with the 16 and rants with the 21. Thanks again, guys. They have a consider on top of their library. All right. Hopefully this Urza Saga lives. Which it can be kind of fragile against blue white control, but Seeing Consider, I'm kind of thinking maybe they're... I, I saw Tudors playing like a blue-white Shredder Murktide deck. That was interesting. I don't know how good or bad it is. Kind of didn't look great, to be honest, but... It could be better than it looks. Is this deck going to have Indulgence, too? I don't think Indulgence makes a lot of sense here. I, you also don't need Street Wraith. You have plenty of discard enablers in this deck with Shredder and Cookbook. Um, but yeah, I, I also have no idea how you would fit in Indulgence and Street Wraith or, or just one of those cards. So this, this list feels pretty tight at the moment. Evan with the 27 months. Thank you so much, dude. Appreciate you. Have you been shredding at all? I 
So assuming this slides, I'm definitely just going to get a second cookbook and then try to make a lot of food tokens uh, instead of four. Uh, at least one extra turn with time sieve and then like two fifths of a turn every turn. I think they're going to steal construct token. Which is totally fine with me. Not been murking everyone. Everyone asks me why I'm not playing Shredder. I've been really liking Shredder. I actually cut Ragavans for Shredders and kind of like it. Kind of like the <laughs> the other day. Just all your creatures are flying. Everybody, you know, you're not getting blocked on the ground at all. Everybody's ready to kill a Ragavan. <laughs> I know it's kind of like heresy, but I kind of liked it. I mean, <laughs> yeah, single Brazen Bora would shore up the bad matchups. Yeah, I know. I know it feels like madness, but at the very least, it felt pretty good. Um, it felt like a reasonable way to to build the deck. Okay, we'd love to draw a land to go Shredder Time Sieve here. Uh, Academy Manufacturer would also be good because it would just win the game on the spot, I guess. <laughs> so if I'm going to ask for a card, maybe I should ask for the game-winning card. But I'll settle for a land. Okay, Emery's, Emery is also incredibly good here. So we just had millions of good top decks. There's another cookbook. Fortunately, didn't find a manufacturer to just win the game. Mm -hmm. So let's go Shredder, Cookbook, Cast Cookbook, Connive. Oh, they, they ending my fourth cookbook, that's right. So I think I'm just passing the turn. I could potentially, though, sack the time sieve, three foods, and a cookbook. That kind of seems fine. I have a second time sieve in the hand, so I think I won't sack that. If I, if, I had the, if I had the fourth cookbook and it wasn't exiled, it would be... I think clear, but it looks like we um, are just gonna win the game, so. Worked out. Put in so I can time sieve back off the Emery. <laughs> yeah, but, but how do we win the game? We could take infinite turns. That's the, we've established many times, that's the easy part. But how do we win the game? I wasn't I wasn't sure how we would win from there, honestly. Thankfully, my opponent conceded before I had to figure it out. Um, I think I'm going to sideboard as if they're just normal blue-white control. The considers are kind of throwing me off, though. They might just be playing Snapcaster. So maybe I want the Spell Bomb. Something like this. Yeah, I, I've seen, I've seen, I saw, I saw um, Tudors playing the blue-white Asthma list. I think it, it was somebody else's. Um, I, I actually, I, I tuned into someone's stream this morning. I can't remember their username, but their setup was really cool. It was, they were playing, they were playing Blue Red Shredder, Blue White Shredder, and their stream title was like Modern Speedruns, and they had like a speedrun splits in the column for the, for the league, which I thought was kind of creative. But I can't remember what their username was, which was kind of bad. But maybe somebody knows who that is. Yeah, that's Young Dingo. Yeah, I've heard that name a few times. Is it is the is the blue white shredderless Young Dingo's brew, or is he just also playing it? Uh, did you get this castle of treasure and springleaf drum? But you mostly just wanted to discard. Oh, Dingo's the one holding the modern tournament. Yeah, yeah. Tutors told me about that, um, and I wasn't sure if I could join because of the whole move and everything i don't re can't remember when it was <laughs> either <laughs> that was a streamer our round two opponent lost to earlier oh okay okay cool well it sounds like young dingo is making some waves huh it's cool 
<laughs> shout out, official shout out to Young Jingo. Hope this resolves, not the end of the world if it doesn't. Tournaments this Sunday, yeah, I can't attend. Maybe if it was next Sunday, I could. Definitely not this Sunday. If March, okay. It's pretty good. What's my pick on best second kids' new album? I haven't heard it, I thought it just came out. Did it come out like literally today? <laughs> I've been streaming the whole time. I don't know what I'm gonna listen to it to. I usually like to really like take my time to listen to a new album that I'm excited for. Try, I, I really try like to not be like super hyped going into it because that's like that's like a really good way in my experience to get a little disappointed. If that makes sense, because you just you just go in too hot. You go in too hot, too hyped, and. Uh, I think it's usually a bit better to be more relaxed listening to new music. I think I'm taking the counter spell. Maybe I should take the Jace, I'm not sure. I can, I'll, I'll try to play around the counter spell, I guess. Probably should play Minamo. I did move to the new house. This is in the new house right now. All right, so they don't have Counterspell up. I would love to draw, um, they do have Dress Down up though, but I would love to draw uh, Daredevil, of course. Main phase, Dress Down, looking for a land. They do find a land. There it is, Murktide, Counterspell, Mystery Card. So I'm just Manufactor, and I think I'm just discarding Asmo. Get the Manufactor tokens. Some game objects in play. This fire not as good as damn, but still solid. I mean, that's also the thing, like, without being, like, too corny and quoting Jay-Z. <laughs> like, you really can't evaluate it. It's, the album's been out for two hours. How can you know how good it is? Even if you, even if you listen to it twice, how can you possibly know how good or bad it is? <laughs> Like, I, like, there's, I actually, like, I didn't even, like, like Damn that much. Uh, like, the first, like, like three listens, I thought it was, it was solid. And then, like, it, but, like, my, like, uh, I, I'd say, I'd say, like, my, like, tenth or so listen after I started to like it a lot. And then, now it's my favorite of Kendrick's albums. <laughs> I think I would, do you want to hit my land drop? It's kind of close. Just it just takes so much time to uh, evaluate a new album, at least for me. Do you have date for Esper Ramirez since new set? Not yet. I, I I think that Tainted Remedy is not or Indulgent, sorry, is not going to be a big upgrade for the deck. Uh, I think that you're probably going to do something like play a split of Indulgence Mending around five or six total of that effect, and it's going to be uh, somewhat boring. So I, would, I guess I'm just gonna sack my clue before I do anything. Okay, then we'll go unearth shredder into Emery. All right. Yeah, do tainted remedy <laughs> count through the roof. Okay, play one more with this. Hopefully we have time for this reanimated list, but it's also I think okay to save that for a later day. So if this league goes too long.